Hello, welcome to this video on PhotographyTV.com. During this episode, I thought I would do a real quick video test on a couple of different microphones that plug into uh, like an iPhone or a smartphone. So uh, the two microphones that I'm gonna test really at two different price points. One is the VidPro XML. I got that on Amazon for right around $19, $20. And then the other one is the Rode SmartLav Plus. Price point for that one's right around $80. So I thought I would put these side by side and really be able to test them out. The one that you're hearing now is the Rode, and the one that you're hearing now is the VidPro XML. And so hopefully the idea is just to give you the difference between the two. All right, so let me stop it right here and just call out what I've found is probably the biggest difference between the two, which is they, the Rode and the VidPro are actually capturing the audio at slightly different decibel levels. Uh, the VidPro seems to be capturing it at a higher decibel level than what the Rode is. And so what that ultimately means, in, in my opinion, is that the VidPro capturing at a, a higher decibel level straight out of the microphone is probably more prone to clipping. And so clipping is just where the audio is getting distorted to some extent because it's just coming in too loud or, or you know, hitting too, too high a peaks. And so the road coming in a little bit softer decibel level is much less likely to do that clipping in my opinion. And so that's definitely an advantage to the road. Uh, but the downside to that is that the volume will be a little bit lower. So you could either keep it as is in camera, just know it's probably going to be a little bit lower decibel coming in, a little bit softer volume, or you could go into editing and actually tweak that up a little bit. Uh, in your audio profile if you chose to do so in editing. Uh, but for purposes of this video, we're gonna keep it the rest of the way as it was captured straight from the microphone. I'm not gonna make any audio adjustments in post-processing. I wanna give it to you straight as it sounds out of the camera, but that's why, or not out of the camera, out of the microphone, but that's why you're gonna hear the audio volumes up then down. I don't think it's too bad that it's gonna be anything that you have to change your volume, but it will give you a sense of what the two do straight from the microphone. So let me go back to outside. I just wanted to cut in and give you those thoughts. So hopefully the idea is just to give you the difference between the two so that you can hear them side by side going back and forth. And today I'm outside because it is a really windy day. And I thought, well, if you're gonna test microphones, uh, test them in tough conditions, really windy, loud outside conditions are tough. You can see I'm wearing them both here. Uh, the VidPro is the slightly bigger one uh, here. And then this is the Rode, slightly smaller, but both of them do have wind screens on. So they're pretty equal comparisons there. You can hear my kids playing in the background, ideally. Uh, so I'll kind of switch between them and you can hear a little bit of the background noise and you know which one picks it up a little bit more, uh, if it is a noticeable difference or not. But I think probably the, the wind noise and differential, ideally probably is what's gonna set the two apart I'm anticipating. So uh, the idea is to let you just hear the difference between the two, uh, but now I'll just talk through a couple of notices on my part after having bought them. Uh, the VidPro, the more inexpensive of the two, does have a much longer cord. It's a 20 foot cord, uh, which is good if you ever need to you know, put the camera away from yourself on a tripod or have someone else hold it, you have a really good amount of reach. Uh, which is a bonus but if you're just doing selfie mode a 20 foot cord all tangled up trying to not let it get tangled up can be a little bit of a nuisance so depending on if you want that extra reach or not uh, it's a good thing uh, or a bad thing and then the road microphone has probably i didn't measure it exactly but probably about a four foot cord so it really is good for selfie mode super simple not going to get tangled up but if you ever need to do something longer on a tripod or standing away from it that's just not gonna work very good. You probably have to buy an extension or something like that. So it gives you less flexibility, but super simplicity of not getting tangled up. So kind of pick which one you want from that aspect. All right, so now that we've tested the mics outside in those tough, windy conditions with that you know swirling wind and really trying to see which one picked up the voice better and kind of reduce some of that wind noise, I thought we'd come inside and test the difference between the VidPro mic, the you know, roughly $20 mic, and hear what it sounds like inside, and also between the Rode Smart Lav Plus and hear what it sounds like inside. And so hopefully this video has given you a chance to hear the differences between the two, uh, decide if you feel it's worth the extra price point for the, the Rode, uh, or just stick with the you know, more cost-effective uh, in the VidPro XML, XML. 
All right, so now for my conclusion, the way I would break it down is if quality is the most important, I would go with the Rode. Obviously, it is the more expensive of the two, so you would expect that, but I do believe it is delivering it. I believe it is worth it uh, because you're reducing the, the likelihood of clipping. It is just gonna give you better quality audio, uh, but that does come with a much shorter cord, so it's pretty much for selfie views or anything within you know, just a few feet of the camera. If you need more than that, you'd have to get an extender. Uh, whereas the Vid Pro, uh, the conclusion there is it's still a, a good microphone. There's nothing wrong about it at all. If budget is something you're conscious of, you want a, an option for $20, that absolutely is a good mic. It will give you better audio than what you're getting out of the camera specifically. Um, and so I would definitely encourage you to check one of these two out. If you want the higher quality, go for the road. If you're looking for something you know, budget conscious, the VidPro is still a really good option. It's gonna be uh, good for you and it has a really long cord so you can actually do shots you know, up to 15, 20 feet away uh, and still have that really good audio. Uh, leave a comment which one you liked better uh, and please subscribe to us on photographytv.com. Most of the time we do videos about cameras and pictures, but loading up on some gear and thought I'd make a quick video. Thanks for watching.